What is it like to be locked away in your own consciousness? Shush! I'm trying to figure out if I can do something to at least control my physical being. Huh. Must be a result of Laura's imprint impacting my core. Guess that means you don't have any access. That means... Whatever dirty work Nate has for you? You're on your own. Please. I don't do others' dirty work. Making conversations with yourself. Glad to see the process is complete. Yes, Nate. You know, if you let me out for a little fresh air. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm only letting you out to teach you how to use a weapon. What? <laughs> That's ridiculous, sir. I mean, you know, I can summon my own considering the goddess imprint and paint my mana. Oh, can you now, darling? Then let's see it. Are you kidding me? I mean, actually, this could be kind of fun. All right, I'm in. See? Told you I could do it. It's surprising how quickly you have done it. All right, then. Do you want to try spying? Things get messy, and you'll need to protect yourself, corruption. Messy. Of course, Nate. Let's spar. Alright, safety first. Summon a wooden staff, corruption. Of course, sir. You know, I'm only doing this just to watch you get your butt kicked. Alright, Corruption. If you win, I'll let you kill me. If you lose, time to assign you my dirty work. I like that trade-off. Let's do it. <laughs> really now, Corruption? I knew Heike was at the brain the whole time. Your combat is meaningless without control of your core, and because of the imprint, Heike has it, not you. Which is such a shame. Now time for your assignment. Then tell me... What's the point of bringing me out anyways? Simple. You're easier to convince to seek a target out. What are you calling me then? A pushover? Not necessarily. You just have a much shorter fuse. You see this corruption? Yes, I do. Oh no, I don't like the looks of this. Don't pull Jeanette and Emil into this mate. He can't hear me. This is what he wanted. I think I understand his plan now. 
If this Jeanette corruption, you know she's done so much harm, doing so many horrendous things. What? But corruption? She retains information about her memories, which means... Oh no. Remember this picture, corruption? It was from high school. Jeanette used it in an attempt to destroy my relationship with Emil. Stop it! Can't you hear me? Good. Channel that anger, corruption. You see, she's also attempted to ruin your chances of controlling your vessel. That girl does nothing but destroy things. She ruined your relationships, your destiny, and of course, I can't help but be a little mad at ruining our relationship. I once loved you? STOP IT! Yes, my dear corruption. The changes must have messed up your head. Love. Corruption! Don't believe him! He got in my way of love twice. I'm losing control quickly. <gasps> I must eliminate her! Now, Master, how shall we eliminate the competition of our love? <laughs> Here's the plan, Corruption. Like you don't really want to know Hey, you left me in the face When I said you could I'm so sorry, guys, but even for me, the trail has gone cold. It's okay, sweetheart. I'll love you no matter what. I love you too. So that's it. Heike is doomed to death. I don't know that, Jeanette. Look, it's been almost three weeks. I just, I just, I just want this to end, guys. I really do. I must say, I'm disappointed. Huh? Who was that? What? Are you guys giving up so quickly? Vora! What in the world are you wearing? A tide bled into your world. It's not what it was thousands of years ago. Anyways, I found your friend in the underground sewers. However, she'll be coming up once she has reins of her magic. Meaning, the corruption has a magic. The corruption? But how? It's just a curse. It can engulf a vessel as well. If the victim gets corruption to the brain, it warps their consciousness, turns them into a bloodthirsty monster willing to kill for any reason. Meaning, she could be coming for... J Jeanette. What? Think about it, you were horrible to her, and Nate! Well, Nate's probably upset you broke up with him, and he doesn't care. It's also to drive the true one insane. Killing is someone she cares about. It's a struggle in her head right now, and she's trying to maintain control. My imprint helped until... Well, now. Corruption won, and she wants nothing to do with me. How do you know that? It's too late for this not to have an inverse side effect, but it's the only way. 
it will expel the corruption from her, but since it's in her brain, it puts her into a deep sleep so she doesn't feel the pain. So, she'll fall into a coma? That could mean... If she isn't strong enough, she may spend the rest of her life asleep, but she told me something. She has something to fight for, so I believe she will be fine. But that's still a significant risk. It is. But if we don't, tonight will be your final night. So think quickly. I can't believe this. I don't want to see her spend the rest of her life in a hospital fighting this. But this is what she would want. What? Think about it. She accepted it before she the corruption took over, meaning she was going to take it. This would have been this would have been what Heike wanted. Our friend. My girlfriend. This is something she wanted. Speaking like a true hero, Emil. I don't know who your ancestors are, but I believe they'd be very proud of you. Now, who will administer the potion into her spinal cord? What? Her spinal cord? It's a direct route to the brain. The potion will take effect in minutes as opposed to hours by drinking it. I'll do it. Are you sure you want to do this, Emil? Yes. This is gonna hurt me more than it will hurt her. But she suffered it long enough, and it needs to end. But now we need a plan. She'll need to be baited out. Jeanette, I am so sorry. Why me? She wants to kill you. She won't care about anyone else. We'll use all our resources possible to make sure she doesn't hurt you. Thank you, but that doesn't really comfort me about the fact that some psycho curse is out for me. I know, but it's the only way to save her. How was that, Master? Very impressive, Corruption. I'm glad you appreciate me. This is sick. Am I ready, Master? I think you are, Corruption. Are you ready to end them once and for all? About time. I'm ready to get justice for our love. I know you are, darling. Ugh. Make me puke. Let's get going. Will you do the honors? Absolutely, sir. Rose? I'm worried. Heike could pop out of anywhere. Are you sure you're able to fend her off? I'm not sure, but training with Christina the past few weeks has made me more in control. Alright, if you say so. That's her. Her aura is here. Heike, we know that's you. Show yourself. No need to be so rude, Rose. Whatever happened to that sweet, shy girl in high school? She grew up and got confident in herself. And Sula, you were such a hot-headed girl. Over what? Some silly blondie? Sheesh, someone had a little insecurity. Rose, that isn't Heike. You're right, Celeste. Heike is dead. And FYI, you didn't have blondie. No one can recreate the love between Master and me. She isn't making sense. 
I'll hold her off. Take this. It will take you straight to Christina's. What? You couldn't give this to me earlier? It's the only one I have, and they aren't cheap. I had to steal it from my parents. Rose, good luck. I'll try. Alright then, time to deal with you. Deal? Not if I kill you first. Fine, then let's fight. I'm feeling a massive surge of mana usage in the area. I feel that faintly. She's here. She's what? Well, not here, but she's fighting Rose. What? No, we don't need more at risk of being a potential casualty. Then what do we do? We need to tempt Haiki to Jeanette. That thing is not Haiki. Stop dragging her name through the mud. What? What Rose and I saw is not the Haiki we knew. I see. I'm sorry you feel that way, Celeste. Marina, we need to create some sort of energy around Jeanette to entice that... thing. Don't worry, Christina. I will ensure she is more intrigued with Jeanette. You see, I convinced her she's my lover, and now she's gone total psycho. You did what?! So it's been you doing all of this?! I don't know what you're talking about, my dearest Emil. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I know exactly what you're talking about. Glad you can put a face to the name. No. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. I know Vora has had some divine intervention here. Emil has the antidote that will kill my creation, my beautiful monster. Am I bothering you? You love sick puppy dog. Don't be such an arrogant dog. Give that back. Emil! I did what I had to do! Christina, we don't have time to panic about that. Emil, you need to get out of there and be ready to administer that antidote. forever. Please, Heidi, stop doing this. This isn't you and you know it. I know, but I wish I could stop it. Please, Heidi, you're stronger than this. Any of this. She still knows I'm here. Somewhere. I know even for a second you can break through. Rose! Heike! I don't know how long I have control of my body. She's fighting pretty hard right now. Heike, you need to go to Christina's right now. Please, it's the only way to save you. Okay. Maybe you should tell Corruption what she wants to hear. What? 
Tell her. Oh, Jeanette is at Christina's. <laughs> About time you told me something relevant. And for that, I'll spare your life. Now, off to end the harlot and spend my life with Master once she's out of the way. Ugh, puke. Oh, and by the way, I will kill anyone who tries to save Heike. She'll be dead by the end of the night, gutted from the grief of killing Jeanette. Her breakthrough just now was me showing her who's boss. And I surely won't let that happen again. Now, off to meet Master. So, kill Jeanette. I'll eliminate anyone who gets in my way, and release Heike as the life drained of Jeanette! <laughs> oh, how Master comes with the best plans! I've been waiting for you, Heike. Oh! Have you now? Yes. Come forward, Heike. You've already given up then, Jeanette. Must say, you will be an easy kill. Hey, Rose. Actually, since you're here, is there a way you can make me a better fighter, please? A what? Things could get a little messy with Heike this way. I need to be able to defend myself and, you know, not hurt her. Emil, I, um... Can you try, please? I can. Just be careful not to use up too much energy. That's just going to a fight and use up most of McCaw's storage. Can you just get more? It's just not like that, Emil. I have to recharge. I can help, but it won't last long. So the timing has to be perfect. How? You'll be able to fend her off and stun her, but she won't be hurt by your weapon. Thanks. Heike, you aren't playing fair. Who said anything about me playing fair? Hey, you! What's this now? <laughs> An audience? Emil, help! Hush up. Time to end you. I see. Guess I'm ending you first. What is this? A dull sword? What's wrong, Blondie? Don't want to hurt your precious little Heike. Face it, darling. She's dead. She won't be coming back. Not sure, you psycho. Now, you can join her! <laughs> Emil! Christina, you need to do something. Override her magic. What? She can't focus on keeping Jeanette frozen while trying to fight Emil. You can direct the mana away. Uh, all right. Jeanette the Needle, now! Right. Get her while she's distracted. I'm sorry, Heike. This is gonna hurt us more than it will hurt you. What? I'm... lost.
Heidi! You guys did it! Are you both alright? Emil needs some medical attention. But I'm fine. I'm just shaken up. The council just arrived and are arresting Nate. Vora wanted to give you guys a round of applause for putting your lives on the line to protect Heike from the corruption causing severe damage. Now, let's get Emil to the hospital and get Heike on life support. It's going to be a long uphill battle for her, but even Vora believes Heike will make it through. Emil, how are you doing? You're asking me how I'm doing after seven surgeries to save my arm? Oh, I'm wonderful! I was asking if you were excited about being discharged today. I kind of wish Heike was leaving too as well. Christina Marina said she's doing very well during her magic care. If the mages and doctors said she'll make a full recovery. Thanks for that, Jeanette. Hey, come on. I got your clothes ready and I think you need some time away from here. Emil, everything is going to be okay. Now let's go home. Like you don't really want to know Hey, you laughed me in the face When I said you could replace All of the things that you're so through with You're afraid to feel your feelings When the night turns into day But sometimes they're the realest things to
Well, I'm ready for season three. Let's do this, shit, guys. Babe, there is this place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just want to be with you? Babe, there is this place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know?